Hi all, in this video we will look at modeling a simple couch using Shark LT9 with subdivision modeling tools. Subdivision provides an intuitive push-pull interface to model and explore complex shapes pretty quickly. In this video we will model and render a two-seat couch, modify it into a three-seat couch and render. Our approach will be to use simple block shapes which we will add loops as needed and push-pull into our desired shape. Our first step is to create the couch base. This will set up the overall size of our couch and will drive locations for the side arms and back cushions. Next, we'll create a block representing the couch back. Using logic cursor, we can reference locations from the base we just created. Now I'm going to create a line across the couch base so that I have access to the exact midpoint of the couch. I'll use this for reference points later. Using the reference point, I'm going to go ahead and create the couch cushion next, and it's going to go across half the base of the couch. Next, we'll create the side arm, again using a block and referencing the base. Note that I've set the number of XYZ increments for my blocks to 1, and I'll add loops as needed. Using the add loop tool, we'll add a collection of facets that we will then extrude out. You can extrude them out by using the deep select and control option. Now let's just show only the sidearm and we'll subdivide this part. And to pull the model back out to the control points, we're going to add more loops to the part. And we'll keep adding loops till we get the shape we want. All right, once we have the shape, we're going to go ahead and turn everything else back on, and we're going to mirror our side arm uh, to the left side of the couch. And we'll just select our, our mesh, and we'll hold down the option for copy, and we'll select the midpoint, and we'll mirror it about that point. Now let's show only the cushion, and let's add some softness to it. Again, we're going to use the Add Loop tool, and we're going to insert loops around the edges to make it softer. And let's subdivide it. And now we're going to go to the deep select and we're going to select that center face and we're going to pull it up to give it a little bit more cush up on top. Once we get the shape where we want it, we'll go ahead and turn everything else on, select the cushion, Go to the Translate tool and just slide it over and copy it at the same time. Next we're going to modify the couch back by adding a loop and then putting in a slight angle to it. We'll go ahead and select our face and then add our loop. Then uh, go over to our selection tool and grab those top facets and, and just slide them out adding our angle. Now we're going to switch views and we're going to add some more loops in. Again, we're just going to soften up around the exterior of our, of our seat back. And we are going to subdivide it. And again, we're going to add some more, more loops to get it to the shape that we want. To increase the height, we're just going to grab that top face, and this gives it a little rounded appeal as well. Now we'll turn everything on, and it looks like our seat is a little bit high, so let's, uh, let's pull it down a little bit. And we'll just eyeball it into a right height. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to construct the seat back cushions. And to do that, first we're going to set up the work plane. And we're going to set the work plane to be the inclined angle of the seat of the, of the back. And we'll use the three point option and we'll just reference three points on the back and that will set up the work plane. Once our work plane is correct, we can go ahead and create a back referencing some of the existing control points. 
and let's go ahead and show only that seat back. And like we did before, let's go ahead and add some loops so that we can soften up and round the edges around the back of our cushion. And let's uh, subdivide it. And then we'll go ahead and pick that face that's in the center and pull it out to give it some more cushion as well. And we're going to turn everything back on. And then using the translate tool, we're just going to copy this cushion to the other side. Now uh, we can see that we're, our back is not high enough, so we're going to go back and select that face and, and pull it up some more relative to our, now that we have our cushions in place. All right, finally we can go ahead and now that we have our general couch laid out, let's go ahead and render it using the default colors. And now let's start uh, adding colors and materials and, and get something closer looking to a couch. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the back to a brownish color. And then I'm going to go to the inspector and display the advanced rendering tablet where we can get access to the displacement shader, which has a leather option in it. Let's go ahead and set the preview mode to drawing so that I can see the, my updates from the advanced render directly on my model. And I'm going to change the scale of my leather pattern. I'm going to make it smaller. And don't forget to hit the apply button once you've made all of your changes so that it, that it sticks with the model. Then once you have the material, go ahead and use the eyedropper tool to place it on all the other uh, objects. And once you get that done, let's go ahead and render the, the couch now. Now let's go ahead and uh, do a, a large modification. We're going to make this two-seat couch into a three-seat couch. And I'm going to turn off the cushions just so I can access the control points that I need to modify. And I'm just going to select the half of the couch and use the translate tool to extend the couch by half cushion. Remember that line I put out there? I'm just going to extend it to that midpoint. And then this will make our couch uh, longer and we will turn back on our cushions and we will copy uh, the two cushions we created earlier into the empty space. All right, let's go ahead now and render it again. And we can see our two seat couch quickly created into a three seat couch. Uh, one more thing, let's go ahead and uh, I've been using just default lighting so I get kind of hard shadows. I'm going to drag and drop uh, HDRI uh, background into it and the HDRI uh, settings include uh, lighting in it and uh, it's a real quick way of getting a much better looking uh, image. Now let's go ahead and take our couch and make a four view drawing out of it. Let's go ahead and select everything and let's turn off show points. Show points is how you turn on and off the control polygon cage of a, of a subdivided mesh. And then we'll go to our model to sheet and we'll select a landscape which has a four view in it. And we're going to use Fong generally with a mesh uh, subdivision mesh, I'll use I'll use a, a grow or a fong render method. And then for the scale, I'm just going to tell it to best fit inside the uh, page drawing. And now we can, uh, let's say we want to add a dimension onto something. Let's tear away our dimension palette and let's pick a vertex here and let's pull it out. And this concludes our demonstration of how to build a couch with Shark LT and the subdivided tools. Thank you.